What is up YouTube? Thrift School over here outside of Goodwill. We're gonna go inside and scan every single CD that they have, every single piece of media, and see if we can make some money on Amazon. I got myself one of these Opticon Bluetooth scanners connected to my phone off of eBay, and I have a free trial of, I believe it's called Scoutly. I'm not 100% sure to uh, download a database since this Goodwill has zero service inside. So I have a free database that I could scan offline in and we'll see if uh, it helps speed up the process. Let's see what we find. All right, we need a cart, one that preferably works. Uh, this one kind of works. I feel like all the carts at every Goodwill always have problems. Where are the CDs at? Somewhere down here, I know it looks like red is 50% off. I see all those little red tags everywhere, which means 50% off. And I see lots of CDs. I haven't scanned CDs in a while, especially here because of how bad the service is. We have a lot to go through, so I'm gonna set up my phone and get to scanning. All right, so I have my phone set up in the corner, ready to go. I'm pretty sure it's set up correctly. Like I said, I've never used this. I have my barcode scanner. Um, I don't know why no lights coming out of it. I charged it before I came here and it was just working. Uh oh, if this is dead, I'm gonna be very upset. So slight change of plans, the scanner is dead. Uh, did not expect that, but luckily this app has a built-in scanner. So we're just gonna have to use that for every single one of these CDs. It's gonna add time, but that's okay. We'll hit the little scanner and let's see how it works. We'll hit up that right there. There we go, so it tells you exactly how much profit you're gonna make. You click 41 cents on a 6.65 sale. Not great, especially when it costs $1. So we're gonna leave that behind. So I'm just gonna use this app. Uh, it says I have full service in here, but I know for a fact I don't. Because whenever I scan things, it takes forever for this to load up. So I'm gonna start from here and go down and you guys will see when uh, I find the first winner. All right, so we found our first winner. You can see the little stack right here, slightly depleted. It is a Christmas CD, so that makes sense. It's right around Christmas time. Here is the app, and it shows $12.30 FBA used, which means I'm gonna profit $4.50. Pretty sweet, first one. And again, it only costs $1, so I'll actually make $3.50 on it. Not bad. We will have a running tally and see how much money they're sitting on this shelf. All right, so the first row of CDs has been completely gone through scanning with this app. And guys, we actually have been finding a decent amount of stuff. We have four here. You guys saw the first one. I'll pop up prices in the corner of the screen there so you could see this Victor Victoria, how much money I'll make on that. Again, they're all a buck each, so great prices. An American Idol uh, holiday classics. Again, makes sense. It's jacked up right now. Christmas is right around the corner. These prices are all inflated. Got to get them shipped off as soon as possible. And then Nickelback. Yeah, okay, Nickelback's still hot. So pretty good. Uh, first stack done, and we have a lot to go. All right, guys, so we had just finished the second row completely, and we found one winner on that entire row. Selling used FBA for $26, meaning I'll make $17.20, but I'm not actually probably gonna list it for that, this CD right here. You can see merchants are coming in as low as $7, where you'd only make 89 cents. 26 seems a little inflated. I think it's closer to a $15 sale. Uh, so you'll still make some pretty decent money on it. I'm definitely gonna grab it in the cart it goes. All right, so the third row has been completely gone through and this app is making scanning so much faster and easier. I'll show you guys exactly what I did. This one right here, I'm gonna end up grabbing. It's only a dollar. I think even the double disc ones are all a dollar, so that's helpful. Scan it in and you could see right here, it has a bit of a high rank, 444,000, meaning eh, it's gonna take a while to sell, but it's selling for 40 bucks. I'm okay with things that take a while to sell for 40 bucks. Also, I noticed there are no FBA sellers. A lot of times when there's no FBA sellers, items take longer to sell. If I send this into Amazon for maybe 25 or 30 bucks, I think it'll sell in a month and I will profit probably not 26, probably closer to 20 on it, which is great. I'm definitely gonna snag that. And these last two right here, same sort of deal. We have this sort of obscure classical CD right here, and when we scan it in, 
you guys can see the rank is super high, 546,000, uh, but there are FBA sellers, especially selling it new, none selling it used, maybe if I priced it at about 15 bucks or so, it'll sell, but with a rank of over half a million, it's just too high, I'm, I'm not gonna mess with that, that could stay. And then Creed, uh, Creed has gotten more popular lately, so I had a feeling this one might be worth a little something, and here it is selling for only $9.56, but it sells pretty fast. I'll double my money. I'll make a buck on it. I could probably price it a little bit higher than 9 bucks and maybe make 2 or $3 on it. I'm going to grab it. Why not? All right, so now I'm going to do rows 4 and 5, and you guys will see if I find anything good there. All right, so I know I said I was gonna just do, I think, four and five, but somebody else was here looking through the CDs with me, so I didn't wanna film. I ended up scanning everything here, and we do have a bit of a nice stack right here growing. You guys can see there's actually a lot of stuff here. Hopefully I kept a running tally as I uh, am talking right now, and you guys can see how much money there is potential in here. Uh, there's a few things, these two actually, I didn't look up because the barcodes were covered or didn't have a barcode. So I just want to double check into these and see if maybe there's some value here. I'm going to do that right now. So not enough value in those two. So we're going to move down to our last three little stacks right here and hope we make out good. Let's keep going. All right, so I finished up the last entire shelf and uh, didn't find too much down there. I think I grabbed a couple things that were worth it. Some a little questionable, but some not too bad. And yeah, we'll definitely have some extra profit in here. Just have to make sure that the discs are in decent shape. And uh, as long as the discs are in decent shape, we'll grab them all. We'll see, how many do we have right here before I check condition? Looks like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So 15 were worth it for checking condition out of who even knows how many this is, a lot. If on average, let's say there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 probably. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200, 20, 40, 60 down the probably over 300 CDs I scanned through to find 15. So I wonder what that percentage is. Maybe I'll pop it up on the screen. I have no, it's very low. <laughs> and we don't even know the condition and a couple of these I'll only make a buck or two on, but some, the profit is pretty high. So is it worth the time? If you have that scanner, yeah, it speeds things up quite a bit. I wasn't here that long at all. Uh, let's see how many of these are actually in good condition. All right, so out of all of them, these ones were all in great condition. These two, sadly, the Creed one, even though I was only gonna make about a buck or two on it, I have to put it back. It's way too scratched up. And this American Idol one looked good to me until I picked it up and it's missing the second disc. And this one was gonna be slightly valuable. So it's okay, we're leaving these two behind. And now I'm left with two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14 total, I believe. So, hey, I'll take it, 14 of them, and I'll put the updated price up here. I might have never done a running tally because of how uh, complicated it was with putting things back, bringing things back out, ranks and all that crazy stuff. You guys could at least see how much money I made right here. Was it worth it? I hope so. I actually don't know what my running total is. Again, it took me maybe 20 to 30 minutes to go through all of them and then to send them into Amazon maybe another 20 minutes so I'm gonna be into these less than one hour so whatever you guys see on the screen is how much money I made in about an hour's worth of work now of course you don't get that all in an hour you have to wait for things to sell but once it's shipped in you pretty much invest no more work into it so it is kind of an hourly rate I'll take it all right, what have they got in the glass case? Nothing besides me. Hi. Bye.